HMS Agamemnon, the Royal Navy's sixth astute class submarine, has successfully completed its first underwater dive at BAE Systems Barrow in Furness Shipyard, marking a pivotal step toward joining active service. This dockside dive represents a crucial phase in the submarine's transition from construction to operational readiness, validating both the integrity of its pressure hull and the accuracy of its buoyancy and ballast systems. Over a two-day period, the trials included a series of basin dives, trim adjustments, and inclining experiments. During these exercises, 16 tons of lead were moved within the hull to ensure that the submarine's center of gravity and stability met rigorous specifications. This milestone comes just weeks after HMS Agamemnon was formally commissioned by His Majesty the King, signaling the beginning of a new chapter for the Royal Navy's fleet of hunter-killer submarines. The astute class design, of which Agamemnon is the latest example, represents the pinnacle of modern submarine technology. Combining nuclear endurance with ultra-quiet propulsion, these submarines are built for extended operations in deep and contested waters. Agamemnon measures 97 meters in length and has a submerged displacement of 7,400 tons, powered by a Rolls-Royce pressurized water reactor driving a pump jet propulsion system. This configuration provides virtually unlimited range and high sustained underwater speed, allowing the submarine to operate independently for months without surfacing. Acoustic stealth is a central feature of the design, achieved through careful machinery layout, rafted engine components, and thousands of anechoic tiles covering the hull. These measures ensure the submarine remains extremely difficult to detect, even in the complex sound channels of the North Atlantic, where enemy submarines and surface ships actively hunt. The submarine sensors and combat systems are among the most advanced in the world. Agamemnon carries the Thales Sonar 2076 suite, which includes bow, flank, and towed arrays integrated through the submarine command system. This network provides unparalleled detection capabilities, allowing operators to track vessels at long distances while maintaining stealth. In place of a conventional periscope, the submarine uses two Thales CM010 non-hull penetrating optronic masts, offering high-definition day, low-light, and thermal imagery. These masts reduce the time the submarine must spend at periscope depth, significantly improving survivability in areas where adversaries may monitor for surface signatures. The masts also host electronic support measures that feed into a fused tactical display, enhancing situational awareness and enabling the command team to make rapid, informed decisions in complex operational environments. HMS Agamemnon is equipped with six 533mm torpedo tubes capable of carrying a mix of 38 weapons, including Spearfish heavyweight torpedoes and Tomahawk land attack missiles. The Tomahawk Block V upgrade introduces improved navigation, hardened communications, and a maritime strike variant, extending the submarine's reach and allowing it to engage targets far beyond the horizon. Spearfish Mod 1 torpedoes have also been enhanced with smarter electronics, fiber-optic links, and safety improvements validated during deep water trials in 2024. Together, these upgrades ensure that Agamemnon can strike effectively, maintain deterrence, and respond to threats across a wide range of maritime environments. The significance of the initial dive goes beyond simply proving that the submarine can submerge. It is a test of the vessel's structural integrity, ballast control, and overall readiness for operational trials. Data collected during the trim and inclining exercises will inform the launch and recovery of weapons, masts, and countermeasures, and serve as a reference during first-of-class operations such as emergency blow procedures and under-ice surfacing drills. This step is critical for transforming a newly built submarine into a warship certified to operate in demanding conditions, capable of responding to high-threat scenarios with precision and reliability. The timing of HMS Agamemnon's trials is particularly noteworthy given the increasing tension in maritime domains near the United Kingdom. London has reported heightened Russian naval activity in the waters surrounding the UK, while NATO forces have tracked surfaced Russian submarines transiting strategic channels such as the English Channel and the Bay of Biscay. In response, 
Britain has intensified seabed security measures and conducted exercises with AUKUS partners to protect critical underwater infrastructure, including energy cables. Agamemnon is expected to play a vital role in these defensive strategies, serving as both a deterrent and an active monitor of potential threats. Its combination of stealth, endurance, and firepower positions it as a key asset for the Royal Navy in protecting undersea assets, escorting carrier groups, and maintaining control across the GUK gap and into the high north. The integration of HMS Agamemnon into the Royal Navy's operational fleet will complement the capabilities of its sister vessels, including Astute, Ambush, Artful, Audacious, and Anson. Together, these submarines form a formidable undersea force, capable of executing a range of missions from intelligence gathering and anti-submarine warfare to precision strikes against land and maritime targets. The Royal Navy's investment in the Astute class program reflects a strategic emphasis on undersea dominance, ensuring that the UK can maintain operational advantage in contested waters while projecting influence far from its shores. Agamemnon's operational profile is defined by its ability to operate covertly in challenging environments. Its acoustic design, combined with sophisticated sensors and weaponry, allows it to monitor adversary movements and respond decisively without revealing its presence. This capability is essential for both peacetime deterrence and wartime effectiveness, as it enables the Royal Navy to shadow hostile submarines, protect vital shipping lanes, and deliver precision strikes with minimal exposure. The submarine's nuclear reactor ensures that it can remain submerged for extended periods, reducing the need for risky surface transits and enabling strategic operations across the Atlantic and beyond. The first dockside dive also represents an important technological and engineering achievement for BAE systems and the Royal Navy. Coordinating such complex operations requires precise control of ballast, trim, and stability, as well as rigorous testing of all onboard systems. The successful completion of this phase validates years of design, construction, and testing, demonstrating that HMS Agamemnon meets the high standards required for modern undersea warfare. It also underscores the UK's continued commitment to maintaining a cutting-edge submarine fleet capable of addressing evolving threats in a rapidly changing strategic environment. Looking ahead, HMS Agamemnon will progress to full-power trials and open-sea testing before joining the Clyde-based flotilla. These exercises will include endurance trials, weapons deployment, and integrated operations with other Royal Navy units, ensuring the submarine is fully prepared for operational deployment. Once fully operational, Agamemnon will reinforce the Royal Navy's strategic posture, enhancing deterrence, strengthening NATO undersea capabilities, and providing the UK with a reliable tool for safeguarding its maritime interests. In summary, HMS Agamemnon's first underwater dive marks a defining moment for the Royal Navy, BAE systems, and the UK's defense infrastructure. It represents the successful transition from construction to operational readiness, showcasing the submarine's advanced capabilities, unmatched stealth, and formidable firepower. As global maritime security challenges intensify, Vessels like Agamemnon are central to ensuring the UK maintains strategic advantage beneath the waves, deterring adversaries, protecting critical infrastructure, and supporting international security objectives. The Royal Navy now moves closer to deploying one of the most capable hunter-killer submarines in the world, a platform that will define undersea operations for years to come.